Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And follow along on Instagram and TikTok at Launched by Liz for all the career and work life tips. I'm unusual because I actually love prepping for interviews. My interview skills helped me land offers at Amazon, SpaceX, Home Depot, and more. I've also helped others excel in their interview processes too, at Oracle, SpaceX, and even Facebook. Although the process of putting yourself out there to be evaluated in an interview can feel daunting and stressful, you can prepare for it. Your practice and preparation will make it so much easier. Let's help you get ready for your next interview by understanding the most common interview questions. The first one I'm sure you can guess is tell me about yourself. The interviewer will always ask you to introduce yourself and your experiences. It makes the interview more conversational and it gives the interviewer a moment to understand your background before beginning. Here's some quick do's and don'ts when it comes to tell me about yourself. Don't read directly off your resume and don't start by saying your name again. Do make it conversational and do introduce the interviewer to your professional journey and where you want to take your career next. The next question you should prepare for is why do you want this job? Even if the interviewer doesn't ask this directly, this answer should be incorporated into your introduction or your other answers. You don't wanna leave the interviewer guessing whether you even want this job at all. Sometimes the people who are enthusiastic and excited about their role stand out among the crowd. The difference between getting an offer and getting rejected could be as simple as saying you're excited to interview and you would love to have this role. Don't leave with regrets about not sharing this message during your interview. The third question you should prepare for is when the interviewer says at the end, do you have any questions for me? The worst thing you could do when answering this is say, no, I don't have any questions. This makes you look unprepared and it could even come off as being disinterested in the role or the company. Asking questions shows that you're curious and excited to learn. You can ask anything around the industry, the company, the team, or even the interviewer's personal experiences. The possibilities for your questions are endless. I always write down two to three questions in advance in case I forget them when I'm on the spot at the end of a long, exhausting interview. Preparing for your interview is so important. Practicing for questions you can anticipate will help you leave a good lasting impression on the interviewer. You're there to share your professional brand and why they should hire you over any other candidate. So be confident and share your story. Make sure you have answers for the following interview questions. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want this job? And do you have any questions for me? Always remember if you landed the interview, they looked at your resume and they believe that you're capable of succeeding in this role. They're there just to get to know you more validate your experiences, and understand your working style. Whenever I remind myself of this, it helps take some stress out of the interview process, so I hope it helps you too. If you found this video helpful in getting ready for your next interview, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Visit my website, launchedbyliz.com, and sign up for my career newsletter for all of the tips. Let me know if you have any questions, or if this video is helpful, drop me a comment or question below. Thanks for watching.